have been around for centuries, and now women are once again seeking out the service to help give them that support that they need to get through their pregnancy and the birth of their child. UPMC McGee Women's Hospital is connecting soon-to-be moms with doulas who will be with them at every stage. We have Rita Spiel here with us. She is one of those doulas. I'm also joined with her patient, Toya Dean, who's expecting baby number four. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. How are you feeling? Overwhelmed. <laughs> I think children will do that in yes, general, no matter if you have one or four. Um, so let's just talk about what a doula is, because there may be some misconceptions about what that yeah. service, what that yeah, person for is. Yeah, sure. So a doula is um, someone who is a trained labor and um, birthing expert, and they are also emotional and physical support um, throughout the pregnancy and in the labor and delivery room and then postpartum as well. That's mm -hmm. wonderful. And there is a difference between a doula and a midwife. Yes, too, right? Yes. So that? um, something that someone once told me was that a doula coaches and the midwife catches. So a doula <laughs> does nothing um, medical. We just try to assist with education and again with that emotional and physical support whenever it's necessary. And Toya, talk to me about that experience for you and why you turned to a doula for help. Well, I had my mother pass away three years ago, and I'm she so has, sorry. Been, thank you, but she has been my doula, so to speak, with the yeah. other children. So I needed a surrogate and, and to Rita. <laughs> um, so she has been backing me, uh, supportive. She is knowledgeable, you know, giving me resources and information that's needed. You know, I really find that when you have your first, you know nothing. Mm -hmm. And so how important that service must be to yes. so many moms. But no pregnancy is the same, no, no birth is the same, no. <laughs> none of it Absolutely is the not. same, right? And so how is this helping you through the process? Certainly that every pregnancy is different. They're like fingerprints. And I would say with the doula, the support that I have gotten from the birth circle, um, I feel empowered, I feel comfortable. Um, this has been, I would say, the healthiest pregnancy that I've had. Really? And yes, uncomplicated. I get phone calls from Rita and she's like, I haven't heard from you. <laughs> I'm just like, so I, I'm really at peace right now in terms of the pregnancy and I am just raring to go. You know, they're so, our, our doctors are so busy. We know that they are and they're there to help us when we need them for that medical mm -hmm. intervention in any way. But you offer, you said emotional support. Yes. Yeah, as well. Which through your pregnancy, especially in those early months, yes. when you're seeing your doctor maybe once a month at mm -hmm. best, you know, it's hard. You go a long time without talking to Absolutely. someone who might yeah. be able to help you. Yeah, and even in those appointments that are a lot closer together, whenever you go to bi-weekly and weekly appointments, it's, they're quick, they're 15 minutes, they're in, they're out, they're telling you the information. So we just try to help bridge that gap and help to come up with the questions to slow the process down a little bit so that everybody is informed. Yes. And so what will you help with um, throughout the pregnancy other than the phone calls? Are you looking out for like postpartum depression, anxiety? Yeah. Um, and things that can even start to happen during pregnancy? Yeah, so during pregnancy, some of the key things that we try to do is help educate. So we try to help with preparation for baby, talk about labor, what it's gonna, what it might look like, um, come up with a birth plan. We also try to help with, if you want an unmedicated birth, facilitating that and how we can best um, get your preferences kind of narrowed down so that you have more insight to what's to come. But then also, yes, with um, postpartum, we help with lactation support um, and breastfeeding. And we also try our best to help to find those needs for resources to kind of help guide the client along. And did I read that women who use doulas are more likely to have success in breastfeeding mm -hmm. and, and, and with some stuff even after having the baby, yeah. is that right? Yes. Yeah, yeah it's, um, it's amazing how much just a couple people adding to support can really help a woman to feel yeah. that much more empowered in her experience yeah. and come out of it with a little bit more light. And will you, so you will help after mm -hmm. baby is born? Too. Yeah, I yeah. I want to keep her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that something that, that you've really relied on for yes. like emotional support and absolutely. guidance? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, I even found myself saying, oh my God, she listens. <laughs> you know? Well, right. I mean, you yeah. know, again, we have really great doctors, mm -hmm. but it's it's hard. Sometimes you don't feel heard completely, yes. right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And so um, can you walk us through some of the other steps? Are you there? the day of the baby being born. So me personally, help? I'm not necessarily going to be the one in the birth room with Toya because we have a community of about 25 doulas that we work with um, and we work with on-call systems. So um, 
what will happen is there will be somebody in the room with Toya to help her with the birth, but mostly it's we try to cover the post, the prenatal care all the way through postpartum. And we make sure that as long as we know that Toya will be in the hospital delivering baby, that somebody will be there to support her. Can I ask you, is it important to have a birthing plan? It's not important because a plan isn't always something that is going to be set in stone. A lot of right. people and clients will come into it and say, I definitely want this, but that can change. Yeah. Birth is very, very <laughs> like, uncertain. Yes. I was and gonna say. <laughs> so you kind of have to be willing to roll with it. Mm -hmm. And so I always send my clients a birth plan so that they can at least ask questions and know mm -hmm. what is available to them. If there's so much that can change like that yes. when you're having a baby, but it's nice to know that you have somebody in your Absolutely. corner. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you for coming on thank and you. speaking so openly about the services and about your experience. Absolutely. Thank, thank you. you. Like, how much longer do you have? Two weeks. Two weeks? <laughs> Two weeks. Oh my gosh. Yes. And do you know what you're having? A little boy. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> thank you very thank much. You.